Have you ever had just a few things from your garden and you're like, what am I gonna do with these? It's not enough to do much with. We only planted just a dozen tomato plants. We planted some jalapeno. I planted one bell pepper plant and I have my oregano and basil plant out there. So I noticed that I had enough to harvest this, you know, a few tomatoes and I picked one jalapeno and these are my, really my only two big green peppers. So hopefully I'll grow some more. And I picked one strand of basil and some oregano and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to start a video and just show them what I would do with this. This is a small harvest. You really can't can it or put it up. Now, typically, I will tell you, I would typically dry oregano and dry my basil and grind it up. I'm big on dehydrating. But today, I'm just going to throw this all together and show you how I would use just this little bit to make a meal. First, I have a Ninja, which is an awesome machine. I take my tomatoes, I've already washed everything, just so you know, and I'm gonna cut it in half there. And then this one was still a little green, so I'm gonna cut the green out. Just gonna make a triangle like that, cut the green out, everything else looks good. Skin and all, I've done nothing, and I'm gonna plop it in my mixer, my Ninja, my Ninja mixer. I'm gonna do the same thing with this, take that green out, cut it in half, just so the mixture doesn't have such a hard time mixing it. And so I'll do that with all these tomatoes and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I have all of my tomatoes in the blender except for this one. And I decided this is a very pretty tomato and we love to make sliced tomato. And so I decided that I would go ahead and just keep this one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in my window seal this way so the bottom doesn't rot out of it okay so always remember that that it's better to store it that direction okay now i'm going to cut up my jalapeno real simple i'm just going to cut it in half cut it like that and throw it in there very little touching of it okay and then i'm going to put in some green pepper i love green pepper i put it in many many things that i cook i try to grow it every year not always successful but i try really hard to grow it. So while I'm cutting this up, I was just gonna tell you about putting the tomatoes in without peeling them. I know a lot of people will say, oh, you can't do that, and I, I understand. But with these new mixers, and especially this Ninja, they grind it up to such a small size that you can leave your skin on and get all the extra vitamins and minerals that's in the skin. So that's why I don't peel them, because peeling them takes a lot, a lot of time. So now I have my green pepper, my jalapeno, my tomatoes in here. I'm going to go ahead and mix it before I put my herbs in and try to just get some of those tomatoes broke up. Okay, as you can see, I turned that on for just a second. I didn't turn it on very long at all, and it went ahead and mulched those up a little bit. You don't have to do that. It just kind of makes me feel better. And then I'm just going to pick off my basil leaves and I'm just going to drop them in there just like this. Basil is one of those uh, versatile herbs that can be used in so many dishes and it's so yummy. So, so yummy. I just love the smell of it when I'm picking it. So really all I had was tomato plants, my green pepper, jalapeno, and oregano. So very little planted. I don't have a big garden, but I'm gonna make a fantastic sauce out of this. And so I'm gonna take these, pinch these little oregano leaves off. And I know this is a little time consuming and I understand, but it is so worth it. And I'll be back. If you like my content and you like what I'm doing, cause I love to cook, please subscribe and like my videos. And that way it encourages me to keep going and showing you um, all my cooking things. And uh, so I really would appreciate it if you would subscribe and like my videos. If you want to see me do something different, let me know. Put it in the comments. Say, hey, Terry, let's do this. I will see if I can do it. Okay? Now, you don't want to put the whole stem in there that's too woody. So you really do need to take time and pick them little leaves off of here. Okay, I have done this much oregano, and I know I left some on there. So I'm going to mix it up completely and give it a little taste. Oh, you know what? I better put some salt in there, right? Let's put some salt. Typically, I measure. Today, I'm going to do the one teaspoon in the hand thing, okay? The 
So let's put the lid on and see where we're at. It's pretty mixed up and you can see it has a light color to it. And once you start to cook this on the stove, it will darken right up. So let's see if we have enough of everything in here. Oh, I wish y'all could taste that. Those few ingredients, and this tastes wonderful. It's not spicy. It has a ton of flavor. I don't think I'm gonna add anything else to it. I don't think I'm gonna add anything to it. So what I will do next is I'll put this, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna put it in a quart jar and I'm gonna put it in my refrigerator. And then tomorrow I will cook it down. So, um, and it doesn't hurt to do that. It's just that everything was ripe and ready today. I wanted to go ahead and get it mixed up. I'm gonna put it in my quart jar. I think I'm gonna have two quart jars, maybe. little bit left okay out of those few ingredients I got a whole quart jar and a little half of a jelly jar and so tomorrow when I cook it down I'll probably end up uh, this will all be evaporated and I'll probably end up with enough sauce for like right there and then you can add to it hamburger um, you can make it pizza sauce you can go ahead and cook it down and then go ahead and add extra spices to make it pizza sauce so many things you can do with it but i i did my harvest and now i'm gonna dry these my oregano for spices later and i'll do the same thing with the green pepper so thanks for watching this was just a spare of a moment uh video and i hope you enjoyed it and subscribe and like take care have a wonderful day bye bye